Studnik Aquatics here. Quite a while back I bought an auto top off system from Marine Depot and this is my reservoir. Um, I need the water line to be on that black one there into this um, wet dry filter sump. And I have another one on that end but they're hooked in tandem so if you adjust one the other one automatically adjusts. And I had the system. It's this one. It's a Marine Depot brand. This sits in there like this and then this is supposed to float up and then this this makes the switch go on and off. It only worked, worked for a little while and then it quit. So I sent an email to Marine Depot. It has the little, the little pump down in here, has the hose, and they sent me a new one. It worked for a while and then it quit. So I'm sick of it. Um, it doesn't work properly. And with this being in the summer, I get quite a bit of evaporation because I have a fan blowing in there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take that one out completely. I do not recommend buying any auto top off that has this kind of a switch and a lot of them do because it does not work. So I went to Dr. Foster's and Smith, put that one in there, and I bought this one. This is Auto Aqua. It's an automatic aquarium total solutions provider. It is called the Smart Auto Top Off Intelligent Aquarium Automation. It has a completely different switch. It's all electronic and it did cost quite a bit more money, but I'm hoping that this will solve my problem and I, and I know it will. It comes highly recommended. Um, it had no bad ratings. Everything looked really, really good online. So I am going to put that in here. The first thing I'm going to do I have polycarbonate in here to keep the evaporation down. I have a bucket of water, RODI, ready for the reservoir. I will take that pump out of there. I will get rid of this plug-in switch, remove everything, and then I will start setting this one up. This here is your sensor. This goes on the outside of the aquarium, or the actual um, filter. And then this other one is your magnet, and that goes on the wet side. So. It has three lights on there um, to tell you what is going on at what time. It also comes with, this is your electrical plug-in with it to get power to it. Um, here is the hose. This is what goes on the edge of the tank so that then you can run your hose through the hole and that holds it on there for the top off system. And this is the little the little pump that goes with it, which I think is pretty similar to the one that's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up and get this going, and then I'll add more to this later. Okay, I have the pump down in here in my reservoir, and then I ran the tubing up here. Um, you have to make sure this tubing is higher than the smart controller and the pump so you don't get a back siphon, and you plug the pump into the right hand side of the bottom of this and then you pump put the, de the outlet into the other one and as soon as I put it in it worked now this is the line that I want it to be at and so it stopped right there it's a little low so if I raise this just a little bit it, there it kicked on it is running water now and it's, it's working great now it should stop here. I'm just trying to get it adjusted so that I can make sure that this is at the right level so that it does stop when it needs to stop. If it doesn't, I will have to lower it just a little bit. So I think it's going to work out great. I have a polycarbonate top put on here to cut down the evaporation. I do get a lot of evaporation right now because in order to keep the system cool, I have a fan in here that blows across all the filtration with a vent on the other end right over in there and then also above everything I am vented from my central air down into this entire area so this thing is still running it's a little high so I am going to lower it and there it stopped so it might take a couple days to get this at exactly the right level I want it to be at that line and we'll have to see how far down it has to go before it kicks on but so far it is working perfectly and I I'll let you know how this works. I'll probably do an update on it later. I do evaporate a fair amount of water with those fans, so I'm hoping this does fix this problem. So anyway, that is the Smart ATO by Auto Aqua, and this is Studnik Aquatics, and thanks for watching.